Sensing a shift in the public's mood, some dolphin attractions are changing the way marine mammals are presented. Dolphins, beautiful, graceful, but big aquariums that have them are making changes. We set aside the traditional show format and made it much more of an interactive opportunity for people to come through the aquarium. Instead of the show, guests get to linger and learn. A generation that grew up with Flipper uh, is kind of reaching you know, the, the latter part of its life cycle. And frankly, the generation that grew up with the Cove, Free Willy, they're now our audience. That change is welcome news to this man. Flipper, Flipper. Flipper's former trainer turned activist, Rick O'Barry. Validation. I was right. O'Barry's not alone. Elected yeah, officials in San Francisco and Malibu also have taken up his cause, opposing dolphin captivity. The industry, though, has long been at odds with O'Barry. Rita Irwin heads the Dolphin Research Center in the Florida Keys, home to many distressed animals. We see the animals that live with us as ambassadors for their cousins in the wild, who are under tremendous stress right now. She chafes at the notion dolphins born into captivity are mistreated. Dolphins are not little gray people. Okay, dolphins like to be physically active. Dolphins need the people who they've worked with. While opposed to capture of wild dolphins, O'Barry agrees dolphins now in captivity are poor candidates for release, proposing a marine retirement home for those animals, an idea the National Aquarium is considering. Tony Winton, Miami.